everyone in Year 6 and welcome to Tuesday's Maths video. Today we're going to continue learning con to construct pie charts, but first of all, here's your fluent at 5. Have a go, pause the video, and we'll go through the answers in a second. So hopefully you pause the video. So, the first answer was 1,254 remained a 1, or 1,254.33, or 1,254 and a third. Number 2 was 12.66. Number three, yet again, they've not been able to add fractions correctly. So you should have added it and got four thirds and not had the answer they put. One and three thirds would be the same as two holes, which it obviously is not if it's four thirds. So it is one hole and one third because in the one hole you have three thirds with one left over because you had four. So one and one third. Number four, would be 132 and then number five would be 8258. So this is your daily challenge for today. We're going, this is sort of combining the pie chart work we did with percentage with the constructing pie charts we did yesterday and looking at how you do it if you're given a percentage or how you would create that pie chart. So we're looking at members of a leisure club were asked which was their favourite sport? The results are shown in the percentage bar model. Complete the pie chart to represent the data. So at the moment we've got a bar representing our data. Now we know our whole bar is worth 100%. It's not 360, because 360 is the degrees. We're talking about percentage. So percentage, the total is always 100 the degrees of a circle is always 360, they're two different things. So we're out of 100 now because we're talking percentage. So our bar represents 100%, what percentage was each sport? See if you can work it out for me please. So let's have a look. Running, you can see it takes the bar takes 40%. Swimming was 15%, you can see it's got a full 10 here and then 5. Cycling was 23% and rowing is 22%. So from our um, sample of people, that is our data. It adds up to 100% because it's 100% of the people asked. Now, now we've got to have a go at putting it into a pie chart. Now this pie chart, the whole angles would represent 360, but this has been given to us as percentage. So the full turn of 360 degrees also represents 100%. And because the markers around the outside have been given as percentages, we can use that to mark on our data. So if we wanted to represent 40 degrees, and this is going to be wobbly because I haven't got the ability to draw a line, but you would start with your first segment starts at zero, and you would go down to your middle line. You would then look at where 40% is, and you would draw your 40%. So that represents running. Can you see how to do that? You don't need a protractor yet because it's 100% around the outside and our markers are standing for each 1%. We represent our 40. Let's have a look. So we would have running, swimming, cycling and rowing. If we were to add all of those percentages together, we would get 100%. So here's your challenge. Now, I haven't made it too easy so you've got to work out some of those missing pieces of data. Now your pie chart over in the corner, the full turn of 360 degrees, is represented by 100%. Because we're dealing with percentages, then, and you've got 10 segments around the outside of your circle, each, represent, each segment is 10%, so you can put your percentages straight in. You've been given the percentage for fish, you've been given the percentage for donkey, and you've been given the percentage for lizard. You have to find cat and dog. And you have been given a clue that a quarter of the children owned a cat. So you need to think about how you would work out the percentage for cat and dog. Then you need to mark your segments around the outside of 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees. And then you need to draw your segments on so that your whole pie chart represents 100%. And it shows all of your data. Pause the video and have a go. Let's look. Now, you would have known that a quarter of the children owned a cat, and you should know that a quarter is the same as 25%. So that allows you to put in 25% straight away. 
Now you also know that all of your data added together should be 100%. So you add up your 25, your 30, your three and your 15, and that will tell you that you need 27 more percent for 100, so you know dog is 27%. You're then able to put that into your pie chart. Now I've just put my 25% in first because it's the easiest, it's a quarter, so that went in. And then you count round, so you do your 27, 30, three, and then lastly, um, I've put 30% for fish. Now you can look at that pie chart and actually just by looking at it, you can interpret it. If I was to ask you which pet was the most popular, you wouldn't even need to look at your table. You could look the largest segment for fish, which pet was the least popular. And you can look and tell me that it was donkey. And that's why pie charts are so good because they give you a really good visual represent representation of the data. That is it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for more.